Hello everyone! So in the previous video I was talking about the uh, long residency under the 10 year route um, and um, obtaining indefinite leave to remain under that route. Um, in this video I will be talking about long residency but under the 20 year route um, and then applying for indefinite leave to remain um, after that. So, with the 20 year route, um, some of the requirements are that the person has been living in the UK continuously for 20 years or more um, and they were living in the UK um, either legally or illegally and a combination of the two and they, they have not had any deportation orders against them because um, if somebody has had a deportation order against them or removal directions, um, that complicates their case basically. And so they, they might find that they won't be eligible under the uh, 20 year long residency. Um, but you know, I digress. So anyway, so to summarize, if a person has been living in the UK for 20 years or more, and they were living legally initially and then you know overstayed in the uk and have been living in the uk illegally since then they would be eligible or they may be eligible to apply for discretionary leave to remain or limited leave to remain in the uk so this is different to somebody who's li been living in the uk for 10 years or more continuously in that the person who in that in that scenario the person is automatically granted indefinite leave to remain if the application is successful so for those who um, have been living in the UK for 20 years or more uh, legally and illegally um, unfortunately they would not be eligible to have indefinite leave to remain straight away but instead will be given discretionary leave to remain um, for an initial period of two and a half years it's only after they have had discretionary leave to remain for 10 years um, in total, then that would, that would be the time that they would be eligible to apply for indefinite leave to remain in the UK. So what they will need to do is they will have to extend their discretionary leave to remain in the UK every two and a half years. And then after they have had discretionary leave to remain in the UK for 10 years in total, then they can apply for indefinite leave to remain in the UK. So to summarise, a person who has been living in the UK for 20 years or more, uh, either a combination of living in the UK legally and then after illegally, uh, they would be eligible to apply for discretionary leave to remain in the UK under the long residency route. And uh, if that application is uh, successful, they will be granted two and a half years discretionary leave to remain which they will need to extend um, for another two and a half years. So that's about three times that they will need to apply for an extension until they have had uh, 10 years of discretionary leave to remain in total. And only then can they apply for indefinite leave to remain in the UK. So I hope you got that. <laughs> so discretionary leave to remain initially two and a half years, and then they have to keep extending it. So once they have had discretionary leave to remain in total for 10 years, then they can apply for indefinite leave to remain in the UK. Thank you.